Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to be making chocolate covered bacon chocolate bark with almonds. It's three ingredients and it's the perfect keto sweet treat. You're gonna love it. It only takes about 30 minutes to make. And so let's get started. And you can find this uh, recipe on my blog, jenniferbands.com. Just search for chocolate bark or you can click at the link in the description below for the link. So I've already started making the bacon, making the bacon for my chocolate bark. And this is just, I don't want you, whatever kind of bacon you wanna make. And I might have made a little extra because I might wanna snack on it. So this chocolate bark, the reason, the way it's keto friendly, low carb friendly is because we use sugar-free chocolate chips. We've got Lily's chocolate chips. These are the best ones. And they don't have, they're sweetened with stevia. They don't have any funky ingredients. So we're gonna melt that in a minute after we get our bacon all cooked up. You wanna get your bacon really nice and crispy. This is just about ready. Okay, our bacon is all ready, so I'm gonna pull it out of the skillet and drain it on some paper towels. And of course, we definitely want to save this precious bacon grease and I might cook a steak in it later. Okay, now we need to melt our chocolate chips. I'm just gonna use this whole bag of the Lily's chocolate chips. And we're gonna melt them in the microwave. That's my favorite way to melt chocolate chips. I'm gonna start with 30 seconds. I'm gonna stir it. I can, I have found the chocolate chips on Amazon. You can buy them at Whole Foods. Um, uh, there's other places you can find them on. Just do a Google search, Lily's chocolate chips. And, but I did buy these on Amazon and I like to melt them by microwaving them in the microwave. <laughs> so I start with 30 seconds and then I stir and then I do another 30 seconds and then I stir. And then if there's still, you, you want there to be a few unmelted chocolate chips left and then you stir one last time and they will get all melted. If you melt it or cook it too long, your chocolate is gonna be, it's gonna be ruined because it, then it will not set whenever you make the chocolate bark. Okay, so here are our chocolate chips after 30 seconds, and you can see they really haven't melted a whole lot. So I'm going to do 30 more seconds. Okay, here's after the second 30 seconds, and they're starting to melt, but they still need probably another 30 seconds. You just wanna make sure that you don't overcook them. So I'm gonna pop these in for another 30 seconds. Okay, so now we are at 90 seconds and this looks perfect. You wouldn't wanna do any longer because then your chocolate would overcook and then it wouldn't set up in the refrigerator. Now, if you don't want to use the microwave, you don't have to, you can use a, put the glass bowl over a pot of simmering water just make sure that the water is not touching the bottom of the bowl and you just stir it as it melts. This is perfect. And don't think that microwaving is cheating because this is how the Barefoot Contessa does it. This is how I learned from watching her on the Food Network. Okay. One little last piece in there that needs to melt, just keep stirring it and it will melt. Okay, this is ready for our lined sheet pan. I've used, I'm using a silicone baking mat. You could use a piece of parchment paper. I've not tried foil, so I would not recommend it. Parchment paper or silicone is what you need. I'm going to spread this out. It's not going to cover the whole pan. You just want it to be in a nice thin layer. And then we're going to put our bacon and almonds 
and that salty sweet, that is the, my favorite thing in the whole world. I love salty sweet. Try and get it as thin as we can. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle or anything because you're just gonna break it into pieces, just like chocolate bark. And if you don't, you know, care about sugar-free, you could just use regular chocolate chips. It would work just the same. And that looks good. So now we can put our bacon on top. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of bacon. Okay, spread it out. Press it down into the chocolate so it'll stick. Okay, let's do our almonds. These are sliced almonds. That looks so good. I'm gonna use my spatula just to press it in there. It's gonna get all chocolatey. Going to be so good. Really press it in there so nothing comes out. Look at that. That looks so good. We are going to put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes. That's usually all it takes, 30 minutes to an hour and then it will be done. Look at our chocolate bark. It looks so good. It is all hardened. So now we can peel it carefully off of this little backboard and look at that. It's completely hard. And then we can just pop it and it, you hear that crack. That crack means that our chocolate was melted properly. I'm quite proud of that. So let's just break it. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool, I love it. And I got it pretty thin this time. I know, that's what I like. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get a piece of bacon. That is so good. Salty sweet, I'll eat that all day. And it just, they just, it just snaps. Look at that, I'm just, just love it. Well, you guys, I hope you love this recipe. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for chocolate bark. You're gonna love it. Uh, let me know how, you, how much you love it in the comments, and I will see you guys later. Bye.